All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the logic board um, or the main board, whatever you know people call it. It's the one with the HDMI ports and all the ports and um, so on and so forth. Um, this is the supply board with the uh, cable in it here, but we're focusing on the logic board here. Now, this model only has one. Of course, it has these little guys down here as well, but uh, we're going to replace this here. We have the new part. So let me show you how to disconnect this. Right here, we have this little silver thing here. You just carefully pop on the little tabs here, and it just comes up. Be very careful of that because that is connected to the supply board. So that little piece comes up there like that out of this little area here. And then you dismantle this with a little clip on top right there where your thumb is. Pull that out right there. Then this one goes in here like this, and that just clamps on right in there like that. Just go ahead and push in from right there, pop that out, and now we have this down here. So this is folded down. Be careful of these guys when you replace them because those can easily, if you break that, you got to go ahead and uh, micro solder or get a whole other one. So these just go from top to bottom, fold down like this, and we're going to go ahead and just remove, carefully remove um, this uh, ribbon here. We're going to keep it attached to the bottom but we're just going to remove this, just pull that evenly straight down like that. And there's your prongs right there. Now what we have to do is we have to remove one, two, three, four down here, and it looks like possibly five right there. Not quite sure, but I'll give you a full count here in just a second. So let's remove those uh, screws there. And then this whole logic board will remove and we'll put in our new one, reconnect everything just the same, our ribbon, etc. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, in removing this, you have to watch the tabs right here and here, which are located right here, that little, that little portion right there and right there. And you just kind of um, get that out of that hook, get this hook out of this area right over here. And then go ahead and carefully just slide it back. Again, watching this here and just pull it on out. And there's the uh, logic board right there. Same thing when putting it back in, guys. Just make sure that clip is in that little slot there. And then these clips are in this slot here and here with this out the back right there. So you can put in your USB and your uh, memory card here. Now, let's go ahead and put in our four screws. One, two, three and four and then we'll go ahead and connect all these these the ribbon this ribbon this one to here etc and then we'll move on to the uh, the next step all right guys now before we test it what we're going to do is we're going to look over make sure all the cables and everything is connected properly um, so that we do not short circuit anything because if we short circuit anything then that part is now broken and then we have to go ahead and do it all over again. So everything is connected properly. The ribbons are in place. All the ribbon cables are slanted down. We're connected here, 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 all that good stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the plug. And then we're going to go ahead and plug it in, fire it up, and check it out. But you do not, I repeat, do not want to have a loose cable while it's plugged in with all the energy surging and then plug it in. I made that mistake um, fixing it and uh, I had to order one of these boards as well. I actually fried my old one which is right here so that cost me uh, more money to fix it but luckily I got a good deal. So anyway, now with our new supply uh, logic board in, let's go ahead and fire her up and let's get this thing going.